Hi guys, and welcome back to the Path of Titans. Uh, they have added drowning to the game, so let's check that out, shall we? <laughs> oh, hi. Whee! Man, I'm fast. Oh, never mind, I lost the speed. Oh well. Oh yeah, and they also added vocal wheel. They're using the same uh, pictures as in AI demo. That's an emote. That's not vocal. Well, it has some vocal on it. I don't know if I agree with the pictures, but... Hmm. Okay. Quite few of them on the work wheel. Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna start drowning when I run out of stamina, so let me just do a... Jump cut because this is gonna take a while. Okay, there we go. Oh, you sink down when you start drowning. Oh, look at my health go down. It's really fast. That is really fast. Wow. Really fast death. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. That was nice. Just got points by spawning in. <laughs> uh, let's get another one. Oh yeah, it's always a uh, collect mushrooms after after you have uh, done the exploration quest. Uh, I hope they make more quests in the future that are other than collecting mushrooms and going to places. Check these emotes. You you don't really uh, have the need for vocal wheel, in my opinion. Like you can already do all this stuff by pressing the numbers. So I don't know why there is a need for vocal wheel unless you are like a new player and you don't know what sound is what. But if you have played like Isle a long ass time before playing Path of Titans, you kind of you kind of know what sound is what because they are the same. <laughs> Well, Path of Titans have more sounds and emotes than the Isle, but they're basically in the same order. First is broadcast, second is friendly, third is threaten, and four is distress call. So yeah, and of of course the F call, which is also in the uh, Path of Titans. Oh, there's a wall. Okay. I really want to glitch out. <laughs> but I know it's uh, impossible. Impossible to do that, but it would be fun to find a like a gap in the wall. Okay, guys, uh I'm going to do a little uh, test. 
I have collected eight mushrooms and I'm gonna die by drowning and see if the game keeps those uh, eight mushrooms even if I die. So that's gonna be interesting to see if it remembers uh, that I have collected eight mus mushrooms and I have 50 points already. So let's see what happens to those. Oh, there we go. Start the sink. So yeah, when you start to sink, you know, you, yeah, you're not gonna live through this. Especially if you're this far away from the shore. And I can't even go further. Like, I'm stuck <laughs> in a place. So yeah, as soon as you start to drown, you better be close to the shore if you don't want to die. Okay, let's check out. Yeah, it does remember. It's kind of kind of funny. You would think you would uh, get punished from death in survival game. Like if you die, you lose your progress. Well, I I would agree that you lose like the eight mushrooms you collected, but not the points. Which you have already collected before your death, so... Maybe they should add, like, some kind of punishment system. Like, if you die before you can get your quest done, it just resets the quest. Okay, this is kind of eerie. There is, like, no sound for waterfall yet. It's kind of... Freaky when you go near a waterfall. No sound whatsoever. Okay, this is one thing I'm gonna be miss missing when they add fall damage back. Just jumping up <laughs> from waterfalls. Whee! Oh man, that is amazing. I love doing that. The pre-release pre is on September, so not that far away, when you think about it. And it's gonna be way different from what you have seen on this uh, demo. Because... Uh, this is just for catching the bugs and glitches. But at least we get to see the, you know, map and they're constantly adding new areas to the map. So that's nice, uh, you get like a sneak peek for the map before it's uh, completely done. But yeah, uh, I, I can't wait for September. It's gonna be amazing. Oh yeah, she can definitely make that. It's not that long a swim. Oh. Oh, there we go. Phew! Hello! Oh, hello! Oh, I can make a sound! When I'm sitting down. I didn't know that was a thing. So when I'm sitting down, I can't make any sounds. That's odd. Is that intended? If you're sitting down, you can make sounds? <laughs> huh. Interesting. Okay, I'm buying a skin for my camp though. There we go. 
go. Actually, let's go to the buttons. Kind of like the button two or one. No, I I like the button two more. There we go. It looks nice. Yeah, really nice. Hi guys, I'm back in fishing multiplayer. On my Suko, I have unlocked two skins, Melanistic and Storm. I'm gonna go and get a third skin. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. This is the one. There we go. Uh, it has reset my points because there was a patch between uh, the last time I played and now that I'm playing again, there was a patch and it reset my points. I had more points before, but they're gone. So, yeah. Let's uh, track this. And start grinding for the third skin. There we go, 50 points. 50 points is enough to unlock any skin, like the first uh, colors of any skin, other than, you know, pack a skin. This. I can get this. have to buy it. Uh, well, so let's go. This is a uh, red Redback. Red neck. Can you load the skin, please? There we go. Yellow belly that I have. And Riblet. Oh, that's a nice one. Milkshake. Oh, I kind of like the milkshake. Then there's red tail and albino and melanistic. I already have melanistic. Albino. Mm, uh, I kind of want to have milkshake. Let's buy that one. And as you can see, the first row of the colors is available. For next row is 100 points. So, yeah. But I, ca I kind of like this skin. This is really nice skin. Yeah, it looks good. Nice. Now I have four skins. Uh, if you include the uh, include the default, so that's that's nice. Let's take that off. Nice. Yeah, broadcast. Friendly. Threaten. Distress. And um, what are you? What the hell? Look around. Why is why did the one was buy it that was odd? Oh, shaky poo. What about this? Oh, that's the scratch. Scratchy scratch. What the? Oh! Oh yeah, this is the stretchy. Yeah. Stretchy! So what was this? It's a bite. Why is it bite? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it was bu just bugging. That all. It worked fine. Now give me combat. Please. Deadly. Add combat. Okay guys, this is a few days later. They have updated vocal wheel. As you can see. There's different fixes on it. Not the dinosaur emote pixels. 
it's kind of simpler. But I, I don't know. Now I kind of miss the dinos. <laughs> I'm never happy, am I? I'm never happy. But they're more clear now. You have kind of like e idea what they mean. Yeah, that's a kind of, yeah. Looking around so I is making sense on them. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad I waited to see the next patches before I decided to upload this video. So yeah, this is uh, uh, more than a few days later. But yeah, um, let's see if I can find anything interesting. Uh, if not, I'm just gonna end the video. I found a cave, guys! Oh. Oh, this is nice cave. It has an upper part. Oh. I would love to call this home cave. I wonder how many caves there is. But yeah, uh, let me just... Oh yeah, it, that's not how you get in. Settings, gameplay, show debug. There, there is the coordinates for this little cave if you want to find it yourself. Okay, let me just take the debug off because I don't really need it because it just confuses me even more. I'm not good using coordinates. Never have been. I I like more the you know the compass thing. Where you can see where is the uh, north uh, south east west Because right now I have like no, no idea where is what. So I would love to have compass instead of coordinates. That would be nice. Would help me a lot. And there we go. There's something here. Yeah. Very small cave. I wouldn't say that's a cave, that's a... Uh, something else. But yeah, when there's uh, like rocks that f um, make a, some kind of formation, there's usually something there. I have noticed. What I would love to see is more caves. This is not a cave, is it? No. Uh-oh. Turn. Turn. There we go. But yeah, I would love to see more caves. Maybe like a cave system. Look at this. This is adorable. Little thingy. Uh, now here is uh, like small cave too. Oh, this is nice. But yeah. Uh, more cave or cave system, like uh, in one of my videos, we went into the dome. That was amazing. I don't know where it is anymore, or do they still have it? Because I haven't found it anymore. Huh? What's this? Have I been here? The problem with this map I have noticed is uh, a lot of places look very similar. So yeah, that's why I get lost very easily and I have no clue. It's, it's not telling me where I am. Uh, but yeah, oh well, uh, this is it for this video.
guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. That helps a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And bye bye.